I've gotten a couple of new accessories from my Raspberry Pi. I got the uh, the Pi tea cobbler breakout board from Adafruit Industries. I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, and then I also uh, pre-ordered the Raspberry Pi camera from Allied Electronics uh, a few months ago, or whenever I could, and it came today. So I've got the Raspberry Pi camera. Now I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube that were really good uh, about, uh, about the camera and some other Raspberry Pi things. And uh, one of the cautions that I, that I learned from YouTube was uh, that it, it is static sensitive and so you should, you should ground yourself by touching something metal. So I'm going to touch my PC case here. And, um, uh, see, all right, so, wow, it is really small. That's the Raspberry Pi camera. Looks like there's a piece of protective plastic over the, uh, over the lens. I'm going to leave that on for now. I think the first thing is to plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Before I uh, try plugging the camera in, I'm going to unplug the power to the Raspberry Pi and open the, uh, the cover that I, uh, on the case that I printed with the 3D printer. And so now this is the thing you have to be really delicate with, as I understand the... Um, this is the connector right next to the Ethernet thing. And you plug this in so that the silver side, silver, blue, so the silver side is facing uh, away from the Ethernet thing. And that's about right. And then lock that in like that. All right. I'm going to pull off this plastic cover, I think, that's uh, protecting the lens. I don't have a bracket or a case for this camera yet, so I'm just going to rig something here with a uh, with a candlestick and a piece of a, a Velcro wire tie. And try very hard not to kink this cable here, but I think that will work to hold it just so. Before I can use the Raspberry Pi camera, I need to check to see that the software is up to date. Uh, in the Raspbian, Raspbian. Someone corrected me on the YouTube video uh, in the comments. It's apparently Ras Raspbian and not Raspbian. So uh, I open a terminal window and I type sudo apt get update and it loads a list of uh, packages that have changed. And then I type sudo uh, apt get upgrade, which applies those packages. Well, I've already done this recently, so it's not going to uh, to do very much here. And in fact, I have a couple of packages that looks like that have uh, have some problems with dependencies, but I don't think any of those is going to affect uh, what we're doing here. Anyway, I'll try it without it. So now I'm going to launch the uh, the config program again. So I say sudo raspi config. And there it is, and enable camera, there it is. So I click that and enable support for Raspi camera. Yes, please. And then finish, and I think this will need to, uh, to reboot to load that stuff. Would you like to reboot now? Yes, please. All right, now the camera is all set up, so I can test it by typing a, uh, by, by launching a little command line program here called Raspi Still, and the, uh, the dash o desktop test.jpg here tells it where to store the image that it takes with the Raspberry Pi camera. So I press that, and it immediately gives us a 10 second video preview of what the camera is seeing, and then it takes a still picture, which it stores right here as test.jpg, and I can click on this still picture and see it, um, on this image viewer and then if I click this thing right here it makes it be full screen so I can see this uh, this full screen image and I think that is a really sharp uh, really good really good image there
that's my first look at the uh, Raspberry Pi camera. I like it. Uh, I paid $29 for this in the United States uh, from Allied Electronics, and I think that's a pretty good deal. It looks like they're out of stock right now, so uh, maybe that will uh, maybe they'll be available soon. I think Adafruit might have some in, um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, figuring out how to control this with a Python program, and then uh, maybe uh, also um, working on the case so that it, it has a mounting spot on the case, and uh, and the cable has a place to pass through the case. I should also mention that I, I've really been watching a lot of YouTube videos about this, and there's uh, Matthew Manning, I think it is, had, uh, had some videos about this camera uh, before they were available in the United States, and I really enjoyed watching those and, and uh, learned some stuff from it. So, hope you enjoy watching.